Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Drive API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Google Drive API to copy files. To copy files in your Google Drive, we'll be using the files resource and the copy method. And let's just quickly navigate the parameters. For the copy method, we need to provide the file ID. And here are some of the optional parameters. And for the request body, and here are some of the metadata that we can provide. Now I'll create a new Python file, and here we have a, a script open, and here's the code to create a service instance. Now let me navigate to my Google Drive. Right, so let's say I want to copy this donation button source image. I want to copy this file to these three folders, Rocky Mountain, Yellowstone, and Yosemite. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, the file ID. I'm going to double click on the file and from this more action window, I want to open this file in a new window. Now on the top, we can grab the file ID. So I'm going to copy this file ID. I'm going to save in a variable called file ID. Actually, name this to source file ID. Next, we need to specify the folder's ID. I'm going to create a variable and I'll name this variable folder IDs. And it's going to be a list. Now, I need to go back to my Google Drive. I need to just uh, individually grab the folder ID. I'll just paste it into my folder IDs list. Once we have the source file ID and the folder IDs, we can create our, our request body. And I'll name the request body object file metadata. Inside the file metadata object, I want to provide the name. And this is going to be the name of the file. And let's name this file donation logo. And we need to uh, provide the appearance. And the appearance parameter is asking for the folder IDs that I want to uh, copy the file to. And I'm going to provide my folder IDs this object. And if we go back to the documentation, and here are some of the metadata information we can supply. I'm not going to supply uh, all of them, but I'll just pick a couple. Let's say I want to set the uh, file in my uh, start folder. And I'll set uh, this parameter value to two. And I also provide a description. And for the description, I'm going to just type my PayPal donation logo. And here I need to insert my uh, comma. Once we create the request body, we can perform the file copy action. So insert my service object dot files dot copy. I need to provide the file ID first. And it's going to be the source file ID. For the body, I'll provide the file metadata object that execute. Now, if I run the script, and if we go back to the Google Drive, now if I go into my Yellowstone folder, and here's the donation logo. Now let's go back to the Python script real quick. If we go into the file meta data object, and here under the appearance parameter, we are providing the folder IDs object. And that means when we make the copy, this donation logo image is actually linked in all these three folders. So what that means is if I delete uh, this image file, Now, if I go back to my Rocky Mountain folder, the donation logo image is now removed. To prevent a file is linked in all the folders, what we need to do is we need to uh, write loop to copy the file individually. Let me come out this code block. In here, let me make a note. File is linked in all P 
parent folders and this one will be file is treated as individual entity what I need to do now is I need to write a loop I'm going to say that for folder ID in folder IDs and I'll grab the uh, file made of data object For the parents, I'm going to change this to folder ID. I'm going to wrap the folder ID object inside a list bracket. I'm going to grab this uh, code block and just paste it. Now, if I run the script, And this time, if I go back to my folders, let's start with Yosemite first. If I delete this image and go back to my main drive, if I go into the Rocky Mountain folder, and this time the image file is not removed. So this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.